East Indian Pork Sausages. Hey there, welcome back to Abby's Plate. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Wanna make some sausages today? The East Indian Pork Sausages are a treat for almost everyone, and are perfect for breakfast or meals. So much so that even when you move abroad you still want to hog on these yummy sausages. But if you're not in the mood to cut and chop the pork up fine, here's a workaround. See how my auntie Trilby and uncle Orlando make sausages in Australia. First prepare the vindaloo masala for the sausages. You'll need garlic, Kashmiri chilies, jeera, turmeric powder, vinegar and salt. Prepare the masala as you would for a regular pork vindaloo and set aside. Now comes the fun part. Traditionally, the pork shoulder meat is cut fine and marinated in the vindaloo. But where there's a will there's a way, or rather where there's a finder, there'll be a good grinder. That's Uncle Orlando grinding the pork meat, twashin and all. The ground pork is mixed with the vindaloo masala and it's ready to be stuffed into the guts. You can leave it to marinate overnight if you want, but it's not necessary. It'll marinate just fine in the guts. Funnel the pork meat into the guts which are the best natural casings. Auntie Trilby then ties the sausages at regular intervals. 4 or 5 or 6 inches, it's up to you. Let's not comment on size here. Hang the pork sausages up to dry in a cool place far away from the sun. A pantry is a good enough spot. Let the excess water if any drip off for 3 to 4 days. Once the sausages have air dried, they're good to go. Call the relatives over for dinner and try a few. The rest can be stored for months. So that's how the aunt makes our East Indian sausages down under. Visit this link for more details. Comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share.